today is um, on that upper left area where you came in with your complaint that you had a, a bridge that's loose. Well, we took an x-ray here, Ralph, and you can see there's some areas in a bridge where it's potentially broken. And the bridge is about 12, 12 years old, but somehow, some way, the bridge worked itself loose. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to remove the bridge, check the area underneath it, make sure that the teeth are healthy. Uh, if there's any decay or any problems with it, then we'll talk about it. But ideally what we want to do is rebuild the teeth up so that we can put a new bridge on it. And it's not very hard, very straightforward. And uh, what we can do now for you, uh, unlike 12 years ago, is your new bridge will make it out of all, it's called an all ceramic bridge, where they'll actually use a digital model that can help fabricate the bridge so it's much more accurate than it was back then. And by having that, that sometimes allows you to have a bridge that seals better and you have potentially less leakage or things like that that can happen underneath it. Okay. All right, so I'm going to lean you back here while we do this. Oh, I want to look good while you're doing this. <laughs> Call my fans on the internet. Let's right. see all these dental procedures that I'm experiencing. That's right. Because I didn't take care of my teeth when I was younger and older. Okay, so let's take a look here. And let me just show you how many it's for. Now, Ralph's already been numbed up here. But if you look at his bridge in the back, you can see where it's broke right here. And you can see in here, here where it lifts up. So the bridge has worked loose like that. And this is a four unit bridge, so it goes from here, one, two, three, four teeth. So it's still attached up here, but we got to take this off. So rather than trying to tap this off, I'm just going to, I'm just going to section this bridge right here so that we can get it off without damaging his teeth.
Let me see if I can loosen this a little bit more, Ralph. teeth underneath. And look for decay. You can see on we get a root canal down on this tooth. Let me see uh, explore. And right here this orange area that's uh, that's root canal filling material. So what we're gonna have to do is rebuild that tooth up a little bit to give it some strength. And that tooth looks healthy, Ralph. So that's good. And the very back one looks healthy too. You can see that you do a good job cleaning your teeth. These your gums are pretty pink and they look nice. So you're doing all the right things in, in the care. It, the bridge just wore out. That's just really what happened. Okay. What I'm seeing here, Ralph, is I've removed your bridge and right in this area here, I don't know if you can see this, Deanna, but it looks like a root canal was done on this tooth number uh, 13 and on the tooth it looks like they were only able to find one canal and this tooth has two canals. So I found the second canal, if you look on the edge right here, you'll see that there's one root canal done right here and ideally there should have been a second one so what we're going to do today in addition to doing this bridge is I'm going to go ahead and treat that second canal and seal that so that he doesn't have a problem with it later on and so I'm going to have her go ahead and get some root canal material stuff and we're going to go ahead and get that done okay so what we did is we went ahead and uh, we saw that only one canal had been finished previously from 10 years ago. So the tooth has never had a problem in 10 years. But since we had access to the tooth, we went ahead and redid this root canal and sealed it. So now with the new bridge, we ideally shouldn't have any problems with that. So let's go ahead and continue on. And what we do is we put some etching on the tooth 
and then a little bit of bond so that the buildup material will adhere to the tooth. And that way uh, the tooth is a little bit more has a little bit more strength to it and uh, will support the bridge a lot better. light does is an ultraviolet light that uh, is a catalyst that makes the material go from a kind of a doughy type consistency to a hard consistency. Together. We want to make sure there's clearance, which in this case there is plenty of clearance here. So, yeah. Okay. Alright, so Ralph, what we're going to do now is we're going to take the impression for the bridge, and then we'll need a full tray for this. And so what we'll do is we're going to have you bite into this impression material that goes around your teeth into this tray here. Let me try the tray in. Just go ahead and bite together. Just like that. Is that comfortable? It doesn't hurt or pinch anywhere. Okay. Open. And then, so that's all there is to it, is it takes four minutes and you're just going to bite together. You can swallow. I'll sit you up a little bit if you need to. And in four minutes we take it out and then we make your temporary bridge. It's her hair.
bite together all the way. Okay, just hold like that. a little bit here because see it is so the margin a little bit I'm gonna use the flowable to add it more over here to cover that Good 
gently bite down and hold it just like that for a couple minutes. Now I'm going to check your bite. Make sure your bite is pretty even. Okay, gently tap. Tap, tap it a couple of times. And open. So the blue mark is telling you that it's heating high. So I'm going to take off the blue mark. Feel. It was okay. Good, even yeah. on both sides? Pretty much, yeah. Thank you, Marlon. You're welcome. <laughs>